Hollywood is an industry where dreams are made and sometimes nightmares are born. I mean, these actors can go from winning awards to trending for all the wrong reasons. Sit down, let's talk about Hollywood actors who ruin their careers forever. Number one, we have Yule Doce. Yule Doce, the Hollywood hat rub with the voice as deep as his family roots in the industry, born into Hollywood royalty with Pete Edoche as his father, Rich Edoche as his uncle's wife, Yu was destined for greatness. He busted onto the screen in 2005 and within no time, he had Nollywood in chalkhood. Between his acting skills, his looks and that rich baritone voice, Yu was practically the Odogu of the industry. Fans couldn't get enough of him, he had it all. But then, in true Nollywood plot twist fashion, you took a turn that even the best screenwriters didn't see coming. In 2022, he announced Judy Austin, his colleague, as his second wife and boom, the internet catch fire. He called her his true love and soulmate, even gave her the title Ijelo Dogu. Meanwhile, Nigerians were like, wait, you, don't you already have a whole family at home? Fans were not having it. The man went from Odogu to Odiogu in record time. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, and you became Nollywood's public enemy number one, dragging from morning till night on social media. The guy who once had movie lovers warning is now the most roasted actor in Nollywood, all thanks to the plot twist we never asked for. At number two, we have Jerry Williams. Ah, Jerry Williams, once known as the pride of Africa, but now like pride under construction. This guy had everything going on for him, good looks, acting chops, and a fan base ready to die on his hill. After his role in choosing one, he became a Nollywood sensation and it seemed like nothing could stop him. Well, except for one thing, illicit substances. In 2023, boom, news broke faster than a Nollywood fight scene, Jerry Williams suspended. AGM president sent him packing after his love affair with hard drugs went public. They even had to rush him to rehab with a Nollywood intervention team. Jerry tried to come back, but apparently, addition doesn't care about your Nollywood accolades. Before we knew it, the man was reportedly seen running around his compound unclad. No movie props needed. Of course, Jerry denied it all. Drugs? Me? Nah. Just a little misunderstanding, he said. But his appearance told a different story. The once dashing pride of Africa was now looking like the caution of the continent. Then came the widest rumor. He got high with his girlfriend, rushed her to the hospital after an overdose, and then abandoned her because, wait for it, he ran out of cash. At this point, even Nollywood was like, nah man, you need a permanent time out. AGM put him on the ban list and now the only choosing one he's dealing with is his addiction. Number 3 we have Tony Umez. Tony Umez, Nollywood's originally lover boy, met every girl swan with his charming roles back in the days. But then in 2013 came along and Tony decided to try something new with a movie called Room 027. Big mistake, huge. In Room 027, Tony didn't just act. He dove into a soft pornography role that had fans clutching their pearls and producers clutching their casting list, asking, is this the same Tony we knew and loved? The backlash was real and his fans weren't having it. Suddenly, everyone who once adored him was like, oops. He was basically exiled from Nollywood for a while because producers wanted nothing to deal with bedroom Tony. Tony later confessed that he didn't actually do the deed in the movie and that he only accepted the role because it was supposed to sell the movie to the western world, Uche Odopota. Uche Odopota was once the ultimate lover boy of Nollywood in the early 2000s. Think of him as a romantic lead you couldn't get enough of. But in 2007, this charming actor found himself in different role, a drug smuggler. Yes, Uche was caught red-handed at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport trying to sneak a little cocaine on a flight to UK. I guess he thought he could act his way through security. After a two-year stint in the clink, you do think Uche would bounce back like a romantic comedy. Wrong. Turns out not even his Nollywood pals wanted to be associated with an escon. It was like he was carrying a bad script everywhere he went. 
no producer wanted to book him for movie roles. So he quietly quit acting faster than Tunubu destroyed the economy because he was ashamed of serving a jail term. Now, Uche is the CEO of Kennedy's Jacobs Consultant, Chine Anyoba. Chine Anyoba burst onto our screen in 2016 as Princess Ebube in Akweke, and since then, she's been winning hearts in Nollywood with her village roles. But one thing that distances her from her fans is the fact that Chine Anyoba is the only actress who is now on social media as someone in a career that needs social media to keep her fans updated about what she's up to. The beautiful actress has managed to keep her life away from the internet. No Instagram, no Facebook account, no TikTok, and no Twitter. Some people say that by doing so, she has ruined her career by herself, especially now that she is scarce in the movie industry. No one knows what she's up to. Even presidents with top secret files have special social media accounts to update the public about their activities. If she eventually returns back to Nollywood, how will her fans know that she is back? Do you think Chine Yoba ruined her career by not having social media accounts? Halima Abubakar Halima Abubakar used to be one of the loved Nollywood divas in the early 2000s. Nollywood former queen of the big screen turned this spilling extraordinaire after having an affair with Apostle Suleiman. She didn't just quietly admit to sleeping with Apostle Suleiman that ruined her career. Oh no, she flipped the whole script, turned the gossip into Nollywood blockbuster. Not only was she involved with him, but she also claimed to be the unofficial matchmaker, introducing other actresses to the apostle like she was running a VIP club. Suleiman, of course, funded the lavish lifestyle, but then things went from Nollywood romance to straight up horror. Halima accused him of being behind a mysterious illness that left her slumped on movie sets like a plot twist nobody saw coming. Producers were so shocked, they stopped booking her altogether, probably thinking, we don't want our next film to end with actual tragedy. The illness got worse and soon, Halima was bedridden for years, becoming Nollywood's most dramatic off-screen saga. But did Apostle Suleiman take all this lying down? Absolutely not. He hit her with a seized and diseased order faster than a Nollywood villain slaps the table. But Halima wasn't about to be silenced. No, sir. She retired from acting only to keep dishing more juicy details in interviews like she was starring in Keeping Up with the Cleric. Now, in 2024, she is down by 30 million naira for defaming Suleiman. But hey, it actually ruined her acting career. Hans Anuku. Hans Anuku. The Americana villain we all love to hate in Nollywood. His accent was as fresh, you do think he just touched down from the New York, even though he was probably coming straight from Asaba, with roles in movies like Broad Daylight, Formidable Force, and Fools on the Run. Hans had fans glued to their screen, watching him switch between smooth criminal and action hero like he was born for it. But at last, the only thing stronger than his villainous characters was his, well, addiction. It seems the formidable force wasn't just a movie title. At one point, Hans' addiction got so serious that he had to seek help from none other than Prophet T.B. Joshua. Because when Nollywood meets Man of God, you know things are real. Afterward, he relocated to Ghana, probably hoping a change of Serena would do the trick. Fast forward to his return to Nollywood, and Nollywood had moved on without him like an ex who find new love. Now, catching up has been rough, so rough that Hanks was even spotted roaming the streets of Asaba. But hold up, in his word, I don't do drugs, I have self-control, just a movie script rehearsal of how to run mad. According to Hanks, the real heartbreak wasn't the addition rumors, but the betrayer by his own people. He said his fans were quick to believe the rumors. Regina Daniels Regina Daniels, Nollywood's forever baby girl and the poster child for levels have changed. She started acting at the age of seven and pretty much grew up in front of our eyes. But at 19, she hit us with a plot twist that Nollywood itself couldn't top. She married billionaire Sinet Nedmoko, a man 40 years older than her, and boom, her fan base went into meltdown. The once adult child star became the subject of hot gist. 
as fans felt their beloved role model had traded her girl power dream for luxury homes and private jets. She pressed pause on her acting career and started living the billionaire madame lifestyle, buying houses and cars like she was shopping for groceries. This almost ruined her career. Years passed and fans began to soften up. They were like, okay Regina, you do you, we are still salty but fine. She tried dipping her toes back into acting but then BAM, she took things up a notch, thinking controversy was her new calling card. Cue the video where she gave Nigerians unsolicited political advice during a protest. Regina went full blast, calling Nigerians ignorant while reminding everyone that she didn't need their love or validation because of course, she is too privileged for all that. Nigerians were like, wait, what? Comment sessions on fire. Fans weren't having it, roasting her like suya, demanding apologies. Every post after that became an open session for more dragging. Now the million dollar question, will Regina mend her relationship with her fans because at the look of things, this has already ruined her acting career. Benson Okonkwo When you hear the name Benson Okonkwo, what do you think? For most movie lovers, it's simply homosexual. Why? Because the role that shot him into spotlight was a gay character in the movie One Dollar. And let me tell you, that movie stirred up enough controversy to make Gossip Magazine sell out. Benson himself was baffled by the uproar. Guys, it's just outing, he pleaded. But by telling that to the folks who started labeling him Benson the gay, I mean, the man acted in not one, not two, but three gay roles. You could say he was on a hot streak, more like a hot seat. From pregnant hawker to stripper, Benson went from leading man to leading gay. In an interview, he confessed that accepting these roles wasn't a walk in the park. He took serious convincing from the director and of course, the paycheck looked so good. But boy, does he regret it. Since then, his career has been as scarce as Nollywood movie without a plot twist. Cozy Ojako Cozy, the queen of boobs, if you didn't know her, where were you living in Nigeria back then? She was like the Beyonce of cleavage, flaunting it everywhere. She had Nollywood at her fingertips until one day her career went from booming to busted. Cue the infamous dog scandal. There is a flip floating around of her in a compromising position with a dog. Cozy Ojako quickly clapped back, saying, Guys, relax, is a movie. From 2002, no less. Apparently, the scene was from Edo Town, where she was portraying girls trafficking for sex work. But nope, the damage was done. The churches even threw her into their Sunday sermon lineup because nothing says repent like Cozy's situation. She went into hiding for two whole decades, and when she finally reemerged, the industry had already moved on faster than a Lagos traffic officer when your bribe isn't big enough. By the time she explained the whole situation, people were still side eyeing her like, hmm, are you sure Cozy? Susan Patrick Susan Patrick burst onto the Nollywood scene like a drama entrance in Sakobi, the snake girl. Suddenly, she was the hottest thing since Jollof Rice at a wedding party in the early 90s. But behind that fame was a little sneaky business. Rumor had it that she snatched another woman's husband while studying at Lagos State University. Instead of focusing on her craft, Susan seemed more interested in the cash flow from her married man, forgetting acting, and she thought she was winning, but eventually, the competition got fierce. Susan faded away faster than your New Year's resolutions. It's like she went from starring in movies to being a supporting actress in her own life. Please click on the like button to like this video. Meanwhile, I did a video about Nollywood actors who quit acting. Click on the video showing on the screen to know if your favorite Nollywood actor has stopped acting. Click on it before this video ends because if this video ends, it will go away. Click on it now. See you in the next video. Bye.